You might ask, why would I go through the trouble of making a metronome or click when Logic has one built in? Well, let's take a listen. Okay, so I really don't like that sound. Now you can change some things about this metronome. If you go to metronome settings and you can change the tone. Oh, so much better. No, I don't like it. You can change the volume, you can reduce the volume, bring it louder, whatever you might want to do, but none of these make me happy. Now, if we really want to, we could still make more changes to this metronome. So I can open up the mix window. And if I select all, this is our track with the metronome. So I can reduce the volume here if I want to. I can also EQ it and take out the lows. But I still really don't like this sound. So I want to have my own metronome, something I don't mind listening to. And there's a few other really good reasons for this. One, I might want to reduce the bleed in my headphones. This sound has a tendency to bleed through even a good set of headphones. I might want more control over it than I have right now. For example, I might want to stop it at a place in the song that I'm recording because there's a hole there. Or maybe at the end of the song, I'm doing a retard and I don't need the metronome clicking while I'm trying to slow down. If I create my own metronome, I can make that audio file stop wherever I want it to and start wherever I want it to. Another really good reason is I might need to share this project with someone who isn't using Logic. For example, they might be using Pro Tools and I have to share stems. Well, this becomes part of the project. It's an audio file and I can just share it with everything else. They don't have to have the same metronome sound. They can use this audio file. It's embedded in with it. So that's, that's a really good reason to have one. So how do we create our own metronome? I'm going to open the library. I'm going to go to my drum kit, pick SoCal, because that's my go-to drum kit, and close that back up. I'm going to create a MIDI region and open up my edit window, go down to C sharp one, and there's my side stick. Close that back up. And now what I can do is just loop this, right? Get four clicks. But that doesn't work so hot. Let me turn off the metronome. That doesn't work so hot because the sound changes. They are alternating side stick hits here to make it sound more natural. That's what the drum kits do. So I don't really want that in my metronome. So I'm going to take this down to one hit. I'm going to bounce this in place. And now I have an audio file. I'm going to mute the MIDI region. And I'm going to option click and drag, create four of these. Now I've got four of them. They're all identical. Let's join those. Create. Yeah, so there you go. Four of them, all identical. And it's an audio file, and that's going to work a whole lot better. And remember, you only have to go through this process once, and then you're going to have your click in your Loops browser. So now that I've bounced it in place, I want to add it to my Loop browser. So Control click. Add to loop library. And now I can name this. I'll call this click. How about I spell it right? PV. And I don't need it to be in a scale. I can have it be any. It's all drums. None of these are going to make any difference because it's just a click. Now, I'm not going to save this myself right now because I already have one. But if you hit create, it's now going to go into your loop browser. I'm going to cancel this and go into my loop browser. To type in the search, click. Click PV1. So I can drag this over, and there's the click that I've created in the past. I can mute this one. 
There's my click. Now, I have lots of control, like I've said before. Now I can actually EQ this, pull out all the lows, which helps in the headphones. Maybe even more. And I can loop that or I can drag that out, whatever it is I want to do for the rest of the song. So I have this click going, maybe I only need it at the beginning. So now I have control over that. I don't like accents in my clicks, but if you do, if you want to accent on that first click, just take the first one, gain it up. And I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to join these again. Now I have a slight accent on that first one and I can loop that out and all of those will have an accent on beat one. So that's pretty easy and remember you only have to do this one time. Once you have it, it's in your loop browser and you can use it for any project, it will adjust to the tempo of the song. It's, it's a really a great solution. So here's a quick way to make your own metronome or click in Logic. Once you make it one time, it's always there for you and you have a choice of sound and tons of control over it. I think once you try this, you'll wind up really liking it.